Hi friends, welcome to Chit Chats with Cami J. Today I'm bringing you a video on what I put in my daughter's Easter basket for, yeah, Easter season 2024. Most of these items are budget friendly. Some of them are a little bit, I don't wanna say pricey, but maybe more than what some may wanna spend, but overall it's budget friendly. All right, let's get started. All right, so to begin, I'll start out with her basket. Now this item, is pricey um this basket is actually from pottery barn and i purchased this in 2020 when she was like four months um i consider this an investment piece because they can use it as they grow like i said this is her fourth year now using no third year now using it and um yeah it's i mean it's held up well um if you do choose to get one from Pottery Barn, this is the small size. Um, it comes in mini, small, and large. And then the liner is purchased separately and you can choose to personalize it. Um, this is just the bunny ears liner and I did choose to get her name embroidered. Um, the basket I believe was like 36. And then the liner I think was like 18 or 20 plus like seven dollars for embroidery so like i said this is a pricey item but so far we've gotten good use out of it over the years and so i consider this an investment piece you can like choose more budget friendly options if you want to go to dollar tree or like target i know target has some like ones with like different types of themes like unicorn and dinosaur and stuff for like probably $3 is probably the cheapest that I've seen. You can go to Walmart, Dollar Tree will most likely be a dollar 25. Well, it's not even a dollar tree anymore, but a dollar 25 at Dollar Tree most likely. Um, so there are more affordable options out there for you. I wanted to just quickly check to see how, or like if there was a big dif price difference from when I purchased this in 2021. Um, this, again, this is the Sabrina Easter Basket from Pottery Barn. On their website right now, it's regular $39. Um, it's on promotion currently for $29.50. Um, the liner is regular price $29.50, and it's on promotion for $17.50, or $17. And then to personalize it is an additional $15. So... Um, it's pretty much not too far off from what I paid in 2021, but yeah, I just wanted to run those numbers with you. All right, guys, so let's get started with what I'm going to fill my daughter's basket. Um, again, she is three, almost three and a half, and I wanted to get her some items that are a little more like practical versus just filling it with like candy and everything like that. I, and I wanted to make sure she could get like use out of the items versus just getting kind of like toys um the first two things are kind of in the toy category this is a um build my garden set and basically it's um different pe pieces she can make different combinations of styles and colors of flowers um i got this off amazon and i believe it was like 10 bucks i actually bought this during christmas and um, I decided to save it for another use. Um, this Christmas, I, I feel like I got her a lot. So I was like, let me just put this aside. So if you ever find yourself buying like too many toys or too many like gifts for one holiday, put them in like a closet and save it for like, like this, like um, either a Valentine's basket or Easter basket um or their birthday or christmas um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and give this to her for easter um this is a little frozen it's a snow color reveal um this i actually got on clearance at target i want to say last summer um and so I, like i said i've been saving it and for the perfect use so I had originally planned to use this in her like stocking for Christmas, but like I said, I felt like I got her enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get this for her Easter basket. The next item I got is this Peeps um, beverage cup or container. 
This was $3 from the Target Bullseye Playground. Um, this came out like right after, I want to say, yeah, Valentine's. Um, so you can check your local Target. I know Easter's in a week, so they're probably already rolled in the new season's um, items, but it doesn't hurt to check. The next item I got, I'll go ahead and do this. This is just a jumbo Easter coloring and activity book. This was a dollar from, again, Target uh, Bullseye uh, Playground. Um, I got her this three pack of headbands and these were on clearance for $1.60. Um, I found these right around or either before Valentine's Day. Um, Y'all, I can't stress enough, like always check your clearance. Um, this like looks like spring, like it could be just a part of like a regular spring collection. Um, they may have just decided to clearance it out much later. So this will work for the upcoming, you know, spring and summer season. Um, like I said, this was on clearance $1.60. And then I got these uh, fun bunny ears. These I got last year from Target's uh, Bullseye's Playground and they were a dollar. So you can also like, if your things are in good condition, you can also repurpose them for the following um, year's Easter or whatever holiday. <laughs> these, again, these were a clearance fine. Um, these are the Joy Bees. They're kind of like the Croc dupes. Um, these are $19.99 at Target, and th these were clearanced out um, right before Valentine's Day. They were on clearance 75% off, and they were $5.99. So look, you couldn't even like tell. Like you would think these are probably part of this season's like collection. They're bright, like a bright coral and pink. Um, yeah, but these were like $5.99, so she's gonna like love these for if we're either going to like a splash pad or a water park or just <clears throat> in the backyard for her water table, she'll be able to have something on her feet. And to go with that, <clears throat> Bullseye's Playground this year had these, um, basically charms. Um, they had a almost like bog style type bag that I believe these were supposed to go with. But when I got these and I saw this, I was like, gotta get it. So I'm going to actually use these as charms on her, on her croc dupes. And these were in um, Bullseye's Playground. They were a dollar as well. <clears throat> I got her these, y'all, I had these bubbles. I got these bubbles like 2022. We never opened them and I still had them. So again, repurposing something I've already purchased before. So yeah, anyways, um, yeah, this little chick, chicks uh, bubble wand. And this was also at the time from Bullseye's Playground. I believe they have different styles for this year's collection. And then this is just a little bunny pinwheel. This was again, a bullseye's playground. It was a dollar. This is just gonna be decorative aspect for her basket. And the last couple items are food. Um, I just got her some rainbow peeps. She loves cheese balls. So these are the favorite day cheese balls. I think these were like $2. This I think was, I wanna say it was like $1.50. And then I got her this uh, Peeps lollipop. If you push the button up, it opens and their lollipop is there. This was $1.99. And then I just got some grass. I think I actually got this from Dollar Tree. So it was $1.25. But yeah, so let's go ahead, put this basket together. This is the finished product. 
I'll go ahead and put this away till next week. There's still time um, for you to get, you know, anything you need for your Littles Easter baskets. So comment down below. Let me know what you're going to include in your children's Easter baskets. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Bye guys.